Bob, you want to quickly review your E active scale? And then you want to review uh, these blue scales in E and D. Um, and then the intro rhythm has is kind of odd. It's like. Since we're on that topic, the outro goes and then on an E6. A seventh would be here on the D natural. So bass on one. And it kind of strums it. So there I'm just doing an E triad to an A triad back to an E. And the main thing is the shuffle. So place your pinky on the B and just get this going. Get the root on the low E, and then your upstroke on the chord. Any of the top three are safe, and then you do the, the shuffle rhythm. This is can be applied to hundreds of songs. A. Break the first chord up, then a lightning fast slide, and then it's just like the A. Okay, so that's your shuffle. Um, you can experiment. If the pinky's bothering you, you could try your ring finger, or you could just use the open two high E strings. Just try not to bump into the G string. Some little interesting turnarounds on this. One is just this play on major or minor. So there was Roman riff that was like. And there was one at the end of the solo that went like a. And then two upstrokes on the E. Um, the solo is you figured out in your own, it's just triads. And the, the principal rhythm he uses on the second phrase, then he repeats, is, is um, one, two, three, down, up, up, down, 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 That's a little walk down. B, A, F sharp, F sharp with a little tug, like a half quarter tone bend, and then the open E with this top two open. Back into the shuffle. I think it is the whole rhythm there. I'm kind of goofing this up sometimes. And that's when he went. To end that, it's most of the takeaways from this song, I believe. Take all your E blue stuff I've ever taught you and just try improvising to it. Um, and you can exercise all those scales and the tricks you've learned. All right, bud, have fun.